Welcome back. We're going to do another uh, U substitution problem today. The first one um, is the integral of 5x over 5 plus 2x squared dx. Um, so U substitution, remember we're looking for something to assign u to in our problem that will, when we take the derivative of it, make our problem easier to solve. Um, in this case, it's kind of a giveaway because the denominator is so much more complicated than the numerator. So we're going to go ahead and try to assign u to the bottom. So we're going to say that u is 5 plus 2x squared. Then we're going to take the derivative of u. So again, we call that du. And the derivative of this, uh, the 5 goes away. And 2x squared, remember we multiply 2, the exponent, by the coefficient. So 2 times 2 is 4. And then we keep the x. And then, of course, we subtract 1 from the exponent. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So we could write 1 there, but it, of course it's implied, so we don't need to have it. The derivative, therefore, is 4x. So uh, now that we've taken the derivative, um, I always say remember to add dx because we have to solve this equation for dx so that we can plug our answer back in for this dx up here. So we're going to go ahead and solve for dx, and the way that we do that is by dividing both sides by 4x. So it'll cancel on this side, and we'll end up with dx equals, and I just flipped this around here, so dx equals du over 4x. So now that we have our u um, and we solve for dx, we can go ahead and plug um, these two things back into our equation here. So what that's going to look like when we plug back in is the integral of, of course, 5x on the top stays the same. We didn't touch that. But then we assign u to 5 plus 2x squared. So we're going to have u on the bottom here. And then dx, we solve for dx down here, and we got du over 4x. So we plug in du over 4x for dx, and we end up with this. So we've got 5x over u times du over 4x, which is great because now we're in a situation where we can cancel out these x's. You see we have an x in the numerator and an x in the denominator, so we can cancel those out. We can also um, take the 5 fourths out in front of the integral to simplify. Um, whenever you have one term, everything here is multiplied together, so this is one term, and you have a coefficient on that term, 5 fourths here, you can pull that out in front. So what it ends up looking like is this. We pull the 5 fourths out in front, and then we have the integral. The x's here cancel, they go away, and we end up with 1 over u du, which is perfect, because this is now something that we can easily take the integral of. Uh, the integral of, um, and this is a rule that you should memorize or, well, ideally memorize so that you're quick, but you can plug it into your calculator and have that, you know, on a test if you need it. But um, the integral of 1 over x is the natural log, or ln, of the absolute value of x. So when we take the integral, what this is going to look like, we've got our 5 fourths out in front, and now we're taking the integral, so I just go ahead and draw a big parenthesis because we have 5 fourths multiplied by um, everything that we're going to take the integral of. So, um, like I was saying, uh, natural log of the absolute value of x. So in this case, we have 1 over u, so we're going to have natural log, or ln, of the absolute value of u. Um, these two lines here signify absolute value, and that just means that if you end up with like a negative number in here, like if you, if you put, um, say u was representing negative 5, and you plugged in negative 5 there, these absolute value brackets indicate that that becomes a positive 5 always. Absolute value means that if there's a negative number, we treat it as a positive number. So anyway, um, just as a rule, this is a formula that we've used. Um, this is our integral. And then, um, don't forget, we always have to add c to account for the constant. And then the only thing left to do here is uh, plug in for u. Remember, we assigned u to 5 plus 2x squared. So our final answer is actually 
5 fourths times natural log the absolute value of 5 plus 2x squared plus c. And that's it. See you guys next time.